Hi, my name is Brenda Odula and welcome to Fit Routine. Today I prepared for you strength training exercises that will help you strengthen and tone your body. We'll start off with a warm-up and then we'll move on to the workouts that consist of three circuits. We'll do each workout for 15 repetitions and then we'll finish off with a cool down and stretch. So hope you have your water bottle with you and your towel ready on the side. So let's get into this workout. We'll start off with the warm-up. So we're going to start off with an easy jog. Just move, lift your legs up slowly. Keep on going, one, two. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Moving on to the next workout, the jumping jack. So just lifting one, two, three, four, four. Beginners, you can just step side to side, but if you want to spike up your heart rate, just go both of your legs. Keep going, give me 10 more. Keep moving, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, good job. Next one we're going to do our knee raises. So you're going to start off slowly. So just lift, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Keep going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So I want to know the next workout is just a squat down and you're reaching up to open up your body here, reach up. So squat down, making sure your knees do not pass your toe line, your chest is up, touch, reach up. Keep going, two, keep pushing, three, Go, four, reach, five, reach, six, reach, keep going, seven, reach, eight, reach, nine, reach, 10, and reach, good job. That's the first round. Now we're going to speed it up a, a little bit more so that you can get your heart rate a bit higher. So let's go, jogging, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, keep moving. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Jumping jacks immediately. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more. Keep going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine and ten let's move on to the next one it's the knee raises now i want you to speed it up let's go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten more one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten good job catch your breath a little bit and then we're going to the last warm-up Work out, let's go. Squat and reach, let's go. Down, reach up, down, and reach up, down. And this is for complete beginners, but if you want to give yourself a challenge, you can do a squat jack. So go on, let's go. Two, reach, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good job. That's it for the warm-up. Catch your breath, sip some water, and we'll catch you after the break. Welcome back, this is Fit Routine. I'm your host, Brenda Dula. We just finished the warm-up section and we're about to move into the main workout. So I've prepared circuit workouts which are going to be done in three phases. So we're gonna start off with the first circuit 
then move on to the second circuit and finish off with the third one and then we cool down and we stretch. So the first circuit, we're going to start off with just basic sports. These are going to help you strengthen and tone your legs. So you're going to start off easy. For those who are, are beginners, just make sure that your legs are shoulder width apart. And then when you squat down, your chest needs to be up, upright, and then you go directly down as if you're sitting on a chair. So just go here. So I'll place my hands here so be comfortable. You can place your hands anywhere. You can even place them at the side here. So you'll take it down. Here we go. One, keep going. So we're doing 15 reps of each workout. Keep going, that's four, five. Keep going, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Give me five more. One, two, squeeze, three, four, and five. Good job. Start off easy and then you pick up the pace. In the, in, the, in the other second set. So now we're going to go down, we're going to do what we call Russian twist. Remember this is a full body strength training um, routine. So we're going to be moving. So we're going to do Russian twist. So Russian twist is for your core. So you engage your core, so just pull in your stomach muscles and then you're just going to twist from side to side. So you can start off from the ground here and then you go one. So you lift off your shoulder, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Five more. One, two, three, four, and five. Good job. So move back. This um, third workout that we'll do for this circuit will be a low plank. Low plank, you position your hands on the, on, the, on the ground, bend your elbows, and then you pull in your, your stomach. For beginners, you can keep your knees on the ground and just, and just lift, because you're going to do a leg lift. Or for those who are a bit more advanced, you lift your, your, your knees off the ground and just lift one and alternate two. Let's go, three, four, five, six. Try and keep your butt a bit low down close to the ground and pull in your stomach. Keep going, that's seven, eight, nine, and 10. Five more, one, two, three, four, and five. The good, the good thing about doing low planks or any plank is it works out your whole entire body from your legs to your upper body and to your core. So it strengthens this whole entire part, the entire front part of your body. So that's the first circuit. We're just going to repeat it again and you give it a bit more intensity. So we're going down, we start off with the squat. So make sure your legs are still positioned, shoulder width apart. Make sure as you're sitting, you sit back down. So I'll go to the side and so that you can see it. So you position yourself this way, shoulder width apart, chest up and then place your hands here or place it on the side. So let's go, go down and up. You can go down and up, keep going. Down and up, let me face you again here. Just go down and up, keep moving. That's five, keep going. Six, keep going. Seven, eight, nine, 10. Give me five more. One, keep going. Two, three, Four and five, good job. Back to the ground again, Russian twist for your core. So if you want to have those, that flat board tummy, you want to have those abs, this is a good workout to do. This one is mainly for the, for the oblique. So it's called a Russian twist. So you just move from side to side, brace your core, and just move your, your body side to side. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five more. One, two, three, four, and five. Good job. Final workout here. Place your hands as low as possible. You can hold them here, you can place them here. 
whichever is comfortable to you. For beginners, remember you can place your knees on the mat or if you uh, want to challenge yourself, you lift off your knees. Make sure your body is as flat as possible. Do not push your bum up. Make sure that your muscles so that you can engage your core muscles. So we are lifting, alternating. One, lift. Two, let's go. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Five more. One, two, three, four, and five. Good job. That's your first circuit done. As you can see, I'm really sweating. It's really a challenge. I'm sure some of you, let me sip some water here. Already feeling it like I am. So that's the first circuit done. We've done three workouts, repeated them twice. Now we're moving to the second circuit. So the second circuit consists of a curtsy lunge. We'll do some dips and then we move on to another ab work another ab workout. So, we start off the cutty lunge. So make sure that you're going to go side to side. That's how you cut it. It's like you're doing a cut. This is what you call. So you lunge to the side. One, keep going. Two, keep moving. Three, this works out your glutes and your hamstrings. Keep going. Four, move. Five, keep going. Six, seven, Eight, nine, and ten. Five more. One. Keep going. Two, three, four, and five. Good job. And as you can see, I'm not using any weights. I'm just using my body weight. A lot of people think that they have to go to the gym so that they they work out, but you can do these workouts at the comfort of your house. So the next workout we're going to do is dips. So you place yourself, as, I'll turn to the side so that you can see. So we'll do this on the floor. You can do this at the side of your chair. If you can't go on the ground, you can place the, the, the chair on the side and you and you dip. But here, we'll do it from the, from the ground. So this engages your, the muscles of your arms, known as the triceps. So you're just going to go down and you just lift up. Down. So we go one, so you dip and extend your elbows at the same time and then push up. So you go down, dip, up. Push, your elbows go back and then you lift up. Let's go now. One, up, two, up, keep going. Three, up, four, up, five, up, six, up, seven, up again. Eight, up, nine, up, 10, up. Give me five more. One, lift, two, lift, three, lift, four, lift, and five. Good job. Then final workout is the abs now. What we're going to do, we're going to turn to your side. Now we want to, to, to engage the oblique. So you bend your knee here and you lift. So you're going to try and touch you need your elbow and then you extend it back. Let's go. One. We'll do ten for each side. Two. Keep going. Three. Move. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Quickly switch to the other side. Make sure you're placing your bending knee at your elbow. Place your weight on your arm, then you lift off. This engages this side of your oblique. So hold it here. Let's go. One, extend, two, extend, three, extend, four, extend, five. Keep going. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five more. One, two, three, four, and five. Good job. Take a little bit of a break. As we stand up, we're going to the second round. So, 
kind of busy. Let me wipe off the sweat. Woo! This is what's called strength training. Just using your body as weight. So let's go. The first one was a cutsy line. So we're repeating it the second time around. So let's go. Now that you you know it, now you can move a bit faster. Let's go. Two. Move. Three. Keep going. Four. Move. Five. Six. Keep moving. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Five more. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. Good job. The next ones we're going to do were the dips. The dips work this part of the, the arms. Here it turns the back arms, the tricep dips. And when you're lifting from the floor, it also engages your stomach muscles. So you place your hands on the side and make sure when you're dipping, you just don't go down and up. You make sure it's your elbow that leans up and you lift your weight with your arms. So let's go. So you lift up, then extend. Let's go down, one. Again, two, three. And to give you a challenge, you can even place one foot on top of your leg. Keep going, three, that's an advanced version. Four, five, six, seven. Or if you're uncomfortable, just keep it down here. Nine, keep going. 10, five more. One, keep going. Two, three, four, and five. Good job. Now, final workout is the oblique crunches on the floor. So you place your, your inner, inner leg bends in, then you lift off and, and use, you touch your knee to your elbow. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Switch the other side. Let's go. Hold it here. Place your elbow on the, on the mat. Bend your knees. Then lift off and start the workout. Two. Let's go. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Good job. That's the second circuit that we just completed. Catch your breath. You can recover for a few minutes if you're feeling that you're a bit exhausted. I know I'm pushing you, but it's good. Challenge yourself sometimes so that you can get the best results. So we're moving on to the third circuit. We're going to start with, with a squat, with a side kick. Then we'll do a roll up, and then we're going to finish with a, 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 a lunges. So um, we start off. Same thing, since we're doing a squat, remember we always have to keep our, uh, our feet shoulder width apart and then we're kicking to the side. So we're going to go one, we lift, and then a side kick, one. Here, lift, side kick, two, let's go. Side kick, three, let's go. Squat, side kick, four. Side kick, five, keep going. Six, boom, seven, again, eight, nine, 10, give me five more. One, two, three, four, down, and five. Good job. That works your whole leg areas from your glutes, your thighs, and your hamstrings. Now we move on to the ground. For your core, you're going to do a roll up. So you're going to bend your knees, bend your legs at the knees. You'll go lie flat on your back and then you're just reaching to the sky. So that, those are crunches. They are the crunches, but at the same time, since you're reaching up, you're going to be engaging your upper body. So that's one, that's how it looks. Let's go, two, again, three. Keep moving, four, lift, five. Keep going, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. Give me five more. One, two, 
three, four, last one, and five. Good job. The next workout we're gonna do are called leaning lunges. So I'll do them from the side that you'll be able to see the, posi the positions of my knees. So lift, down, you lift your hands at the same time, you alternate your knees. Your knees go down towards the ground. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Give me five more. One, two, three, four. Last one, five. Good job. So we're going to repeat the, the same workout from the top. We're starting off with um, squat and kick to the side. So this time, give me a bit more energy. So going down and then you kick. Squat down and kick. Remember, your knees and toes should be aligned as you go down. Try and keep your chest up and kick. Keep going. That's five. Down. Six. Let's go. Seven. Down. Eight. Let's go. Down. Nine. Down. Ten. Give me five. One. Two, three, four, last one, five. Good job. Now you go back to, down to your mat. We're doing roll-ups for your core. So you place your knee, go on the floor, and you're reaching to the sky. Let's go. One, keep moving. Two, pull in your stomach. Three, four, five. Keep moving. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Give me five more. One, two, three, four, and five. Good job. Final workout, leaning lunges. Let me face the side again. Same thing, reach to the top, and then you lunge down. Let's go, reach. Keep going. Two. Three, four, five. You step back and lift. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five more. One, two, three, four, and five. Good job, guys. That's your workout for today. We've done three circuits to strengthen your body. That was a full strength exercises for your entire body, from your legs to your core and to your upper body. So I hope you've enjoyed it. We're going to do a cool down after the break. Welcome back. This is Fit Routine. I'm your trainer, Brenda Odula, and we've just completed a strength training free weight workout. So what we're about to do right now is cool down and stretch. So we're going to start off with side lunges here. Just go here and hold it here. Extend your legs to where you're comfortable. You can even just touch the ground if, if you want, or just place it here. If you're comfortable, you can't reach the ground. Hold it there for eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Switch to the other side, lean, lean, lean. Feel the stretch here all in your inner thighs. Keep on going. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job, now just turn to your side. Now you want to give it a bit of a half split here. You can take it to the ground, hold it here so that you can stretch. Your inner thighs also, the hamstrings. Keep it there, hold it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 
to take it back here, stretching your hamstrings also here, hold it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Switch the other leg, same thing, place it here and lean in, hold it there for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take it back, hold it there for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Stand up quickly. Hold it there. And you know, like I always said, it's pretty important to stretch after every workout so that your muscles recover, so that you avoid any injuries in future, and to also prepare you for any any other workout that you might do on another day. Here, hold it there for eight, seven, six, five, four, two, one. Bend over here, hold it there for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and we'll do, we'll lift up slowly. And then I'll take your hands back. Here, stretching your, your upper body and especially your arms here. This is a tricep stretch. Good job. Take it across here. Hold it there. Nice. Take it back. Pull this other side. Also stretch here. Stretch completely. Push it back, back, back. Nice one. Take it across your chest. Good job. Cross over and then go on the side here. Feel the stretch on the side here. Hold, hold. Nice one. Keep on going. The other side now. Cross it over. Stretch. Nice one. Now I want you to take a deep breath to get oxygen into your lungs. Deep breath in. Nice, nice, nice. Deep. Hold it one more time. Deep, deep, deep. Last one. Deep breath in. And now, great job. That was your workout for today. Make sure that you hydrate after this. Make sure you have a proper diet that's going to accompany your workout to be able to replenish your muscles, to be able to give you the energy to push through the day. We just finished a strength training exercise. I hope you guys enjoyed it at home. Uh, my name is Brenda Odula. That was Fit Routine. And remember, stay fit and feel good.